guys, so for today's video, I'm going to be doing a wash and go from start to finish, from wash to finish, using the Briogeo Curl Charisma line. So this video is not sponsored, however, Briogeo did send me three of the products in this line. They sent me over the stylers. Later, I actually went to Sephora myself and picked up the shampoo and the conditioner from the line just so I can give you guys a more thorough review and I actually just wanted to try it for myself and just see how the whole entire line worked together. So I did already wash my hair. I used the shampoo and the conditioner. So I'm coming to you with freshly washed hair, but I do have some clips to insert for you guys while I talk about the product. So you'll be able to see me actually washing and conditioning my hair. This is my first time trying these products. So it's kind of going to be a first impressions as well, but I really have high hopes for these products. I already really love the Brio um, don't despair repair mask I showed you guys me using this in my wash day routine so I definitely trust the products and also the products are very clean they are curly girl friendly and they're free of sulfates parabens silicones phthalates artificial dyes DEA and then on the back of each bottle uh, this one is 98% naturally de derived ingredients this one's 96% naturally derived 93% 98% so to to start off, I went ahead and washed my hair with the shampoo. So the shampoo is the Curl Charisma Rice Amino Plus Avocado Hydrating Shampoo. It says that it's infused with rice amino acids, avocado oil, tomato fruit, extract to enhance curl texture it's a creamy shampoo hydrating and it doesn't strip hair of its natural oils so the shampoo i did really like it had a very nice lather on it i was pleasantly surprised a little bit does go a long way so that's good because this is um eight fluid ounces by the way and i'll put information on the price and everything on the screen it is hydrating but it's definitely very it's almost borderline clarifying but not in a bad way like it says it does not strip your hair and I definitely felt that it did not strip my hair but it left my hair feeling very very clean some moisturizing shampoos can leave a little bit of a like a residue not in a bad way but you can just feel like something's left behind maybe some oils or something um, this does have oils in it but I didn't feel any sort of residue or anything so if you're looking for something that's really going to cleanse your hair very very well but not strip your hair I would highly recommend this shampoo so on my first impressions I did really really like the shampoo so I would say the shampoo is a go by the way as far as the scents all the products in this line have the same scent it's kind of similar to the mask that I use from them but it has like a light fresh powdery scent is how I would describe it but it's definitely not overwhelming and then I went ahead after that after I rinsed out my shampoo went in with the curl charisma rice amino and shea curl defining conditioner so it says the curl charisma rice amino plus shea curl defining conditioner is infused with rice amino acids and shea butter to hydrate and maintain healthy looking curls tomato extract helps promote consistent curl formation enhancing the vibrancy and texture of each curl so I can't really attest to all of that quite yet it is only my first time using it um, but as far as using it in the shower I did also like the conditioner I don't think it's the most slippery like slippery thing yeah it didn't have the most slip of like anything I've ever used it had a decent amount of slip but even so it did detangle my hair very very well and very quickly just like the shampoo on the line a little bit goes a long way like once you put it in your hair it definitely spreads out you know how uh, conditioner gets like that white look when you have a lot it kind of did that like not even using a whole lot so I really like how it coated all my strands without using an overwhelming amount and like I said it detangled really well it did leave my hair feeling really soft and really hydrated so I do like the conditioner I don't really have anything bad to say about it now generally I would go in after I've conditioned with a deep conditioner or sometimes after shampooing I'll go right in with my deep conditioner without using a regular rinse out for this video I did not because I wanted to keep it just stick to the line and just see how the line kind of performed by itself but if you are on the hunt for a good deep conditioner I definitely recommend the Briogeo don't despair repair and I'm not just recommending this because it's Briogeo because I actually use this in my wash day routine and it is one of my whole 
Holy Grail deep conditioners. So I do have all three of these styling products in the line. I'm not gonna use all three of them. I think I'm going to use the leave-in and the gel. And then the third styling product, which is the one that I'm not gonna be using today, is the Chia and Flaxseed Coil Custard. So on the back, it seems like you would just use this by itself. You don't need to uh, use a leave-in or anything. So I'll probably be using this to do a one product wash and go it does seem to be like a really really thick product so i think it would perform pretty well for that purpose so we're going to go ahead and get into the styling part i am going to be using to style my hair this spray bottle because like i said my hair dries really fast this is my favorite spray bottle it's my 360 mist continuous mist sprayer so it just keeps spraying and spraying and spraying love this this is a smaller size i do have a larger one as well i'm also going to be using my favorite brush this is my tangle teaser ultimate detangler by the way i'll have links down below to all the products that i'm using today but this is the large size they do have a normal size this came out later i love both of them equally but this is just better if you have a lot more hair because it's a larger brush. So first I'm gonna be taking the leave-in from the line. So this is the Rice Amino and Avocado Leave-In Defining Cream. This is infused with rice amino acids, avocado oil, quinoa extract, tomato fruit extract, and that it enhances moisture and definition for soft and bouncy or soft, bouncy, and vibrant curls. It says to apply one to two quarter size amounts to damp hair, so I'm assuming that's for your whole head. I don't know, I feel like that wouldn't be enough, but I am gonna be sectioning my hair. I don't just apply my products like in a big glob. Like I like to have small sections to make sure my hair gets evenly coated, so that's how I'm gonna be applying this today. But since they only want you to use one to two quarter size amounts, I'm gonna make sure to use a small amount on each section. So I'm just going to spray my section. And when I put it onto my hands, it's very, very lightweight in consistency. It is a creamy leave-in. Some leave-ins are more like gel-like. This one's definitely more on the creamy um, conditioner side. So this is the Rice Amino and Quinoa Frizz Control Gel which is infused with rice amino acids, quinoa extract, tomato extract to boost definition for vibrant under control curls with a lightweight flexible hold. So this has already told us we're gonna get a lightweight flexible hold. This one isn't that, it doesn't feel like sticky or slimy at all it doesn't give you like that stringiness so this actually feels really really good going through my hair it actually has a lot of slip to it which is reminiscent of the gels that i normally like to use like those slimier gels they're always really like slippery in the hair this does have a nice slip to it but it doesn't have that slimy consistency so it feels really nice so because the gel is more on the lightweight side it's not giving a whole lot of clumping but i've had wash and goes that have come out really really good and my hair hasn't been like extremely clumped or anything so that doesn't necessarily mean it's oh, that doesn't necessarily mean you won't get a good wash and go but i just wanted to note that so i'm just gonna go ahead and continue on styling the rest of my hair and we'll check back once all the product is in all right, so all of the product is in my hair. So I can definitely feel that it is going to be a lighter weight wash and go, but that's exactly what they say that this product is going to give you. One thing I'm very curious about is how this, because I can definitely tell this is a heavier product. I would be curious to see how this would pair along with the gel, and that might be something you would wanna look into if you do want or need more hold. I like to mix it up. So like sometimes I like something with a lighter hold, sometimes I like something with a heavier hold, just depending on the look that I'm going for. A lighter hold usually gives you more of like a lightweight, fluffier, bouncier wash and go like right off the bat. So it's definitely not a bad thing. Like sometimes you want that type of look, you know, on the first couple of days while the, rather than having to wait a couple of days. So I'm hoping to get some volume here. I'm hoping to get some definition, of course, but I am hoping to get some volume because I definitely want, I'm looking for more products like this that will give you like that day three um, type of look. So I am gonna go ahead and style my edges. Oh, one other thing that I wanted to mention, like the gel, as I was applying it more and more, I really, really like the gel because when you put it in your hair, not only does it have a lot of slip, it almost gets like this watery feeling. It's really, really interesting. I don't really know how to explain it, but it feels like you're putting like water in your hair, but it does glide through really nicely. Like water doesn't, 
does water have slip no water doesn't have slip but it's it's just weird you have to you have to try it for yourself speaking of the gel i do want to take just a little bit more gel and just kind of like apply it i'm gonna take like that it's not even a quarter size amount and i'm just going to apply it like over top of everything just to give it one nice little you know little seal i tend to like forget not forget but i don't put enough product in this part right here sometimes and it can get a little bit frizzier than the rest of my hair so i'm just gonna hit that like if you have hair that's easy to slick down you could just take some of the gel and just kind of like slick your edges like that um as i've said in the past i like more of like a less effortless edge look I don't mind it. I don't mind like not having my edges laid or anything. Sometimes I like it, sometimes I want something more put together. But usually when I'm initially styling my hair, like the first day I'll go ahead and do my edges. And then sometimes like as the week goes by, I won't even bother doing anything to my edges. Um, oh, by the way, I'm going to be using one of my favorite. This is like in my top two. I really like the one from Kiss that I've showed you guys before, but this one's really nice as well. This is the Kaleidoscope Miracle Edges. And this one is actually supposed to like help like with your edges, like if you have hair loss. So it's like a two-in-one type of product. So I'm just going to go ahead and use my toothbrush. Um, they did send me this product, Kaleidoscope, along with a edge brush, but I have no idea where it went. We tend to lose those in this house for some reason. So the edges are complete. By the way, if you are gonna style your edges with a toothbrush, make sure you get one that doesn't have this little rubbery part in the middle and also you want one that's flat. This type of toothbrush makes it really, really hard to style with, but I did, I did the best that I could. I don't think it looks too bad. So we're completely done with the wash and go styling phase of it. We do have to wait for it to dry. I am gonna be air drying most of the way, and then I'm gonna go in with my diffuser afterwards. So um, I'm hoping, well, I'm thinking and hoping that this will dry pretty quickly because the products are very lightweight. Like my hair already feels like, like it's on the road to getting dry, like it's drying up a little bit. So my shirt is so wet so as always i'm just going to give you guys a little spin so you can see what the wet result looks like it's 11 23 right now so i'm going to come back in a couple hours once it's like maybe 75 percent dry and then i'll go ahead and diffuse and we will see what the final result looks like all right guys so these are the final results which i am loving i did film a whole like segment prior to this i came on camera when my hair was about 80 percent dry i diffused and picked my hair out put my oil fluffed it out and stuff like that but uh, I was talking through that portion, but I realized my microphone was not on, but I do have the footage, so I will insert it and just tell you guys what I did. So basically, I came on when my hair was about 80% dry. It only took about three hours for my hair to get to that point, which is awesome because when I do my normal wash and goes with a little bit heavier products, it normally takes about eight hours for my hair to get 100% dry, so maybe like seven to get about 80% dry. So it dried really, really fast, so that's definitely a plus. So I went ahead and diffused my hair on medium heat, medium speed with my favorite blow dryer. This is from Sally Beauty. It's the Ion Whisper Quiet Light. Very, very, very lightweight, very quiet. Love the diffuser, which does come with it. So I diffused my hair and then I just uh, went in and applied some of my favorite hair oil, which this is from Alakay Naturals. It's the Glaze Argan Oil Silkner. So I just kind of did like a praying hands motion, um, rubbed that through my hair. I also went in and picked my hair out at the roots to give some more volume. And then if there were any like curls that needed to be separated, which there weren't too many, cause like I said, this product or these products did not clump my hair that much. Um, but if there were a few, I went ahead and separated those. And I kind of just took my hands and shook my hair out. And that's how we arrived at this point that we're at right now. So my final thoughts are, I do really, really, really love this wash and go. It's pretty much what I was expecting. I was telling you guys when I came on camera when it was 80% dry that I could tell it was gonna be a more voluminous wash and go because even at 80% dry, it had a lot more volume than my normal wash and goes would have at 100% dry. So definitely give you a lot of volume if that's something that you're looking for. It's definitely very lightweight. Um, 
really didn't have any crunch in my hair. So if you like something that's lightweight, no crunch, very fluffy, very voluminous, I would say this is definitely something you are gonna wanna check out. So I'll go ahead and do one of my little spins for you guys so you can see what it looks like. So that completes this video. Leave a comment down below and let me know how you think this wash and go turned out. If you like this video, please give it a thumbs up. If you're not already, please hit the subscribe button down below and don't forget to turn on your post notifications as well. And until next time, I will see you guys in my next video.